There's always something that needs a little fixing on Farpoint Farms. Hey guys, it's Eric, owner of Farpoint Farms here in the mountains of North Carolina. And tonight, I want to share with you this. Christmas is just around the corner here. And, uh, you know, here's what's going on. I'm always looking for presents for friends and family and everybody. Guys and gals I work with, stuff like that. I'm always looking to get cool stuff for people. Anyway, I came across this. Autos Craft reached out to me and they were like, hey, we'd love for you to do like a portable air compressor pump video. And I'm thinking, eh, eh, I don't know. I have this, okay? This is like ancient, 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 ancient. It's got a little inflator, it's got a little flashlight, it's got a little emergency light, it does a bunch of stuff. It does none of those things very well. Pull that off and it's there, there's a little 12 volt air pump. And you can inflate a car, I keep this in the trunk of my little Mirage and it does its trick. So I am kind of expecting that what they are offering for me to check out is going to be similar to that. I went and checked out their webpage and what I came across was actually a really, really, really nice like high-end air pump and this thing is really cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a review of this. This is actually gonna be one of my coworkers Christmas presents so hopefully he's not watching this video. But this thing is really, really nice. Like if you were expecting this, uh, you know, you are going to be very pleasantly surprised, as I was. So let's go ahead and open this thing up and see what we got. And I think, like I said, when I take this out of the box, you're going to see what I'm talking about here. Let me get this out. There we go. Let me slide the box out of the way. We'll just take a look at this for a second here. Just take a look at the, the size of this pump, okay, and the fact that, I mean, look at the cord. All right, that's a heavy duty cord, it's got a built in fuse, nice thick battery clamps. This isn't a plugging into the cigarette layer, this is just, and it's, and it's very heavy duty. It's got this nice padded handle here. Um, it does have some lighting on the back here, so it does fill some of those other features that you might be looking for, but this is obviously a, aimed at a, a much different audience than your regular El Cheapo, you know, Black Friday type sale. Let me go ahead and unhook this. This is where this gets even cooler, right? So the other one just literally has the tire inflation nozzle on the back. But this one, check it out. It actually has like an air compression fitting, an air hose fitting here. And that's because this kit also comes with a genuine air hose, like a real extendable air hose. So go ahead and put that in there. All right, and... Uh, that's <laughs> that's not where this ends. I sound like, uh, what was that guy? Billy Mays. Whoa, wait, there's more, right? So check it out. Of course, we got our manual here, which did get a little bit beat up in shipping, but that's all right. It's a rather large manual here. Let me go ahead and pull it out of there so you can get an idea of how big it is. It is color, and uh, it is multilingual, but it is it is pretty stout. So I'll probably go through that here in a minute, but check it out. This is the part, and my buddy here, he is not getting this, but this was this was like icing on the cake. Check out what this thing came with. Not just a tire inflation gauge, but a digital tire inflation gauge. And a darn nice one at that. Check it out. So uh, a really nice little digital gauge. You know, with cars and trucks now, anything after what, 2007, 2005? Uh, started it, I think 2007 or 2008, pretty much all American cars sold were carrying, you know, digital tire inflation because you have tire pressure monitoring systems and it's very critical to have the inflation set just right. Well, with a nice digital gauge, that's definitely possible. So now we got this and so it can hook right to the other end of our air hose here, plug in, I'll put some batteries in this thing and we've got a way to inflate it. And then if we need to uh, let air out, well, it's got that on the side as well. So, yeah, man, this is just just a smidge fancier than I thought it would be. And um, got some nice fittings here. That, that right there is to let air out of a tire. Got some angle stuff here, inflate, uh, you know, pool toys, stuff like that. There's a little thing for your basketball in there. You know, you can inflate volleyballs, basketballs, footballs, things like that. So it does come with the stuff that you would normally use to inflate, you know, like I said, off of this. Um, but this thing, which has all these features and functions in it, uh, weighs, I don't know, maybe a pound and a half. And this thing, without all the features and functions, probably weighs closer to eight or nine pounds just by itself. 
and that motor is certainly more heavy duty. This is literally a nice little compressor here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get a jump box and we'll go through the features. I'll put some batteries in this thing and then I don't have a ton of things that currently need inflating, but I'm very impressed by this. And I just want to show it to you and uh, it's cool. It's very cool. So let's do that. <laughs> All right, there it is. Love it, man. Backlit display on that. Two AAA batteries got that thing up and running. Got my hose connected here, which has got a pretty long reach to it. And I'm going to hook up a jump box here, and we'll just play with this thing just to see how loud it is before we take it out to a tire. So first thing I want to show you on this side, we do have a little LED light. I don't know how effective that's going to be. It, it, it does put off a decent amount of light. I don't know if you can see that or not. But for you know nighttime, if you were going to have to inflate a tire on the side of the road or something like that, it certainly would be helpful. Not really gimmicky, I would say. So let me go ahead and turn that off. And we'll turn on the pump and just listen to it run here inside the building before we go out. That's not bad. Um, a little loud at first, probably just needed to have the oil cycle through it. And let's go ahead and see what we hear here. All right, so it gets quieter as it builds up, uh, as it builds up its pressure. And of course, when you're hooking this up to inflate something, it's constantly gonna be under pressure. So let's go outside and try it out on some tires. So I came out here to the uh, tractor here. I'm going to check the tire pressures on these. These look okay, but still give you an idea how this thing operates. The uh, tire pressure gauge itself with the batteries in, some of these turn on automatically. Some of them don't. I guess we'll check that right now. Right on. So this one here is smart enough. You can see the backlit came on and the pressure came on. And it actually is low. This, is, this holds 12 PSI. It's actually at 6.3. So I'll go ahead and kick on the motor, and we'll start inflating it. <laughs> I will say that inflated really, really fast, which was kind of nice. Definitely a huge step up for the amount of time it takes for the little dinky one that I've been using all these years. All right, let's check this back one here. It's a little harder to get into this one, but let's see. Yeah, 20. All right, let's try it again on a bigger tire. <laughs> that's pretty awesome one thing I do want to point out here let me go and unhook this I'll show you up close <sighs> let's check this out right on the tire pressure gauge if you were going to inflate, some, uh, inflate something all the way from empty you could push down on that and lock it so it just continues to inflate that's kind of a cool toy right there I like that a lot and the light backlit you see that up close but not bad huh? so yeah overall I'm impressed I'd say Huge step up from the Black Friday specials you usually come across that you throw in the trunk. And by the time a few years pass and it's actually time to use it, they don't work anymore. Or they work poorly right out of the box. This is a nice upgrade. In fact, if you don't have room for an actual compressor, this is probably the next best thing. Because it certainly puts out enough airflow quickly enough to inflate tires like this on the farm. Anyway, that's it for today. I'm Eric, the owner of Farpoint Farms. Hope you enjoyed this. This is a present, and I hope the person getting it enjoys it. Till next time, take care.